Hello and welcome back to Irish Chippy Channel. My name is Pascal. Today I'm going to do uh, part three of uh, the Garmin Vivid uh, 4CV. Uh, also applies to 5CV. As promised, I will show you how to do uh, to how to put on waypoints and how to make routes or routes or routes. And uh, all you need to do, uh, from, the, from your own home now, I'm not talking about we're at home, there's a storm outside or whatever, and you have nothing to do and you want to play around with your Garmin, uh, you, uh, can, all you need is Google Maps or something, like other mapping software. Google Maps is probably the most simple, and I will do it. You can do it with your cell phone, uh, iPhone or Android, this Android. You can do it. I'm doing it with the computer. I find it easier to record it for you when I'm doing it with the, with the computer. So I will proceed now to show you how to put in. I will put in three waypoints in, where will I put them in? In California somewhere, I think. I'm not sure. I just I, I ran them. I'm like 6,400 nautical miles from California. But uh, I just picked uh, Big Bear Lake, which is in, in California. And um, I think it's in California. <laughs> yes, it's in California. And uh, I will, pick, I will uh, put in three waypoints on the shore of the lake. I will show you how to put that in. And then we will, when, when I put them in, then we will make a route. And we will make a route from one to the other to the next one. Now, to do navigate two, is you can, it's not really working, it won't really work because you're on the boat, you're going to navigate there. So we have the route already made. So when we get on the boat, then we press uh, navigate two. If I press navigate two, it's going to take, uh, it's going to navigate from here because it's even picking up the GPS inside. And uh, it will want to go from here in Southern Leyte to California, which is, as I said, is 6,000. 400 nautical miles. So uh, I'll go right into it now and bring you into uh, into the map. So uh, we open. I'm open and I'm using my computer, uh, my PC, uh, and we'll open Google Maps. And I'll put in a Big Bear Lake in California as an example. Uh, so we will. Uh, we know that this is a people boat on this. Regardless, uh, you should check uh, where you are, where you can, before you do anything, you should check uh, whether you can, uh, whether you can bring your boat or what kind of a boat you have when you're going to somewhere else, I don't know. So we will zoom in here and we will see how we got, it. there we have what's called a Carl, uh, Carl Public Ramp, right? So say we want to take off from there. We're at home now and we want to make our plans. So we will go here to the shoreline and we will press right click and then we will get the numbers. Now these numbers, you need to write these numbers down. So uh, I'm actually going to write them down now as well. So we will write down beside our coordinates on our piece of paper, we'll write down uh, Carl Morrison East public launch round. And then we'll go pick the point where you, t you can pick many, many points around. We are not, we will make a, uh, a route later on but for now we will uh, we will just put in some some positions and if you can see there's look North Shore landing so we will right click on that there near the edge of it and we will put in the coordinates for that and then we'll pick a third point point uh, somewhere down here maybe uh, this one here we'll pick uh, Holloway's uh, Marina Park and Recreational Vehicle Park. These are places people might want to go to. So we'll put that in uh, Holloway's. Is it Holloway's? Yeah. So when we've that done, we'll go back over, uh, or you can have it here in front of you while you're doing it if you want to, if you don't want to write it down. And then we'll put these uh, waypoints into the fish finder. So the first thing is we go into settings and we go to units and uh, we're going to uh, put in the position format that's the format of it so we're going to put in the google one the google format the google format is hddd and dddd -D -D -D. that will enable us to put in our uh, our google uh, coordinates Click user data, and then we click waypoints, 
a new waypoint and we're going to do enter coordinate you can use chart or current position but for this video we're showing you how to do it with coordinates so we click coordinates now we have north and south as you see yourself your google won't have north and and uh, north and south it won't have that in it uh, or east and west but a minus is an east and a north is a plus and south is a minus so you know whether you're north or not anyway so it's uh, we're going to do uh, north of course and we're going to put in the coordinates that we got there a few minutes ago so it's 30 34261931 and then we go down to uh, and then we go to our longitude and our longitude is west we are west of Greenwich in the US 116 8, 8, 8, 8. so that's our coordinates in we go down and we press done and then it comes up uh, it's asking you for the name so we're going to put in the name of our first coordinate which is Karen Morrison so we just put that in it's slow enough to do this uh, well I'm leaning over because I'm doing the video it's much easier if it's on your lap or close up to you but uh, it's still a little bit it's like going back to an old cell phone <laughs> so that's all you're allowed to put in is, uh, is 10 digits you change try to change again it goes back so you have to go uh, so we we'll just leave it M O R S press done and then we can put in a different symbol I put in H I'm not sure if that's for a harbor or for hospital but you can take your own choice there of what symbol you want for it uh, I might change that but I'll put it in for H for the for the present now you can put in the depth of the harbor or whatever it is there and, and other you can put a comment on the end of it so I'm going to do all the rest of them now, uh, the other three, the other two waypoints, and then I'll be back. So now I've put in uh, all these uh, three uh, waypoints, and I've named them, and uh, we will click on waypoints again. No, what we'll do, yeah, we'll see. You see the way we have them here, they, they, they go nearest to you, not alphabetical order, when you click waypoints, right? Uh, so as you see, these are close by me, and uh, if we uh, if you scroll down further, the furthest ones away, of course, are the ones in California, which are 6,400 <laughs> nautical miles from uh, where I am here. And most of them are, all, yeah, they're all over that. So, uh, so it, it, uh, it picks them up on distance in this part. When we do, uh, in, in a short while, I'll show you when, it, when it's going to be different. So we go back to user, user data and we click routes and we click a new route. So when you have to use, you can use uh, using a chart or you can use route using waypoint. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to uh, uh, make the route from the waypoints that we have on our, in our waypoint. So when we click that, then we come up with the next screen. Now, the next screen is not in distance away. The next screen is alphabetical order. As you see, Karl Morris is there. And we click on Karl Morris. So when we click on that, that's the one of our route. And so we're going from Karl Morris to, where do we say we're going? We're going to, from Karl Morris to uh, North Shore. We click North Shore, then Next. And then we go up further. You can see the little symbol there on the side after you press Select. So there's the three of them selected now. And then we're back to where we were, our original route, which was from Karen Morris. 
So we go from Calmar to North to Holway. So that's uh, how simple it is to uh, to do these uh, this w these routes. Uh, you can edit them then. Now, if you press navigate to and you're in your house, <laughs> uh, it will automatically uh, start, unless you put it in simulation, it will uh, navigate uh, from your home. So when I do that, I'm going to, I press navigate, and I to navigate from here. Oh, my first waypoint is 6,400 away. <laughs> So that's me on the that's me on the in the boat there. Uh, I'm a long way from uh, the lake, and we would have to bring the boat uh, over land transport to get to a uh, Great Bear Lake. So uh, you can do it in simulation mode, but if you're navigating, it, the navigation starts off obviously where you are because it picks you up on the satellite. You can zoom in and pan if you want to there with the up and down buttons. One up and down and left and right are for zoom and pan. That's my house there. Kaimito Beach. So we'll be going forever, right? <laughs> At two hundred feet I'd be scrolling for for a long, long time. So we go back so that's a. Uh, that's our routes, and uh, you just click on them. When you click on the, wor uh, the routes, th they're all going to be there. You can make other ones and different ones, and uh, you can edit to them, as I said earlier. So there you are now. We got and we made our three waypoints, and it, I didn't. I'm not going into the complex stuff for you. It's there in the manual if you want. It's actually, you can see lots of the different menus as you're going along. But uh, we we are after making what we and we are after making three waypoints, and we're after making a route from the comfort of our armchair, or in my case, in my office, and uh, home office that is, and uh, so. Thank you very much for watching this uh, short-ish video and if you like this or any of our other videos uh, please consider subscribing.